Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video we are going to be reviewing the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm going to show you guys how it applies. I have worn this foundation multiple times so I do have an opinion on it. So this is more of a review. It's not a first impression. So I'm going to show you guys how it applies, what the coverage is like, how I feel about it. And also I'm going to show you guys a wear test. So I'm going to go throughout my day and make sure that you guys see how it wears throughout the day. On my skin type I do have a combination uh, skin type so it's oily in my t-zone and then normal on the sides not dry or anything But before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much for subscribing Also follow me on my social medias. They are always linked down below in the description box So you guys always know where to find them. Yeah, so let's just get started with the review all right, so I do have their site pulled up right now, so I'm just going to read a couple things that this foundation claims to do. It is called the Photo Focus Foundation, so keep that in mind. So anyway, it says it's going to be your skin, but better. It's a foundation that underwent major road testing under seven, seven different photo lighting conditions to, to deliver flawless camera ready makeup every time, specifically made with a matte light diffusing complex to give your skin the hashtag no filter perfection. It is featuring light adjusting complex to help prevent white cast in photos. So it's not gonna get that like flashback in uh, photography, which is awesome. So it says it claims to be matte. I do agree with that. I don't think it's the most matte foundation in the world, but it is matte. So yeah, so I'm just gonna talk about how I like it while I apply and then I'll show you guys kind of, you know, what the coverage is like and everything like that. I do have, you know, acne over here, some spots. I have two shades of this foundation. Let's talk about the shade range, actually. So I believe they have 20 shades. I thought they had 20 shades, but it looks like they have 19 shades of the foundation. It does look like the range goes pretty dark. I mean, it doesn't go like super dark, but it, it does go nice and dark. And the light, the light shades are amazing. Like so many light ranges of shades, which I think is so good because like I have mentioned before, the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation, they just, just, just came out with one more lighter foundation, but before that, I still don't think it was light enough at all. So anyway, I picked up two of them because when I first tested this out, I was super fair, so I wanted to get a really fair one. I'm like pretty fair right now, but I'm almost in between of what a self-tan me looks like and a all-natural me looks like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That was kind of crazy. Okay. So I have soft beige and that says it is a light medium warm shade. So it does have that on the bottle, the undertone and like if it's light medium, medium, or I think there's fair. And then I also got soft ivory, which is a light warm shade. So I have like, especially when I self tan, I have a warm undertone. So I like to get more of a warm yellow based foundation. This light one soft ivory is so light like even when I was when I first got this and had no self tan on my body at all I was like oh this almost is a little bit too light so I had to mix in some of the soft beige so if you are like if you are like snow snow white fair this might be the best foundation shade range for you because this is only light then they have two more shades below this one which is porcelain and then they have shell ivory so let's get started applying so I'm gonna kind of mix the two foundations together since I am kind of in between the two shades and when you open it up oh first of all let's talk about the packaging so like sophisticated and high-end feeling it is a heavy glass bottle has weight to it which is super nice and um, it does have a little spatula, which is nice and not just like a um, thing you pour out, if that makes sense. The spatula isn't, you know, the most hygienic thing. I probably should be putting this on a little dish, but, you know, I will. The one thing I will say, you kind of have to work quickly with this foundation, so keep that in mind as you are working with it. So I'm just taking my sponge. This is my favorite way to use this foundation or just any foundation. I don't really like brushes. They don't satisfy my flawless needs. <laughs> so this is just, you know, one layer. And when I do one layer like this, it is, it's like a medium coverage, I would say, but it can build up to a full coverage. So. I'm going to zoom you in real quick so you can see what one layer of foundation looks like. 
Okay, so as you can see, my skin tone is evened out, but with the blemishes and everything like that, it isn't the most covered foundation. So if you have like really clear skin, this would be totally enough for you. But if you do have acne, you can build it up. Is apply a little bit more in those problem areas that I have. See how light that foundation is? It's crazy. Okay, so then here's the difference between that side and this side. It covered really well. I'm I'm not saying it's like the most ultimate full coverage foundation, but it covers really well when you layer it on top. It doesn't get all weird. It doesn't get crumbly. It doesn't. It's awesome. I definitely do agree with the fact that this is a matte finish. It's not like so matte that it takes all the life out of your skin, but it is definitely a matte finish. So this is like the finish without any concealer, without anything else. I'm going to come back when I have the rest of my makeup done and show you guys what it looks like then. And then I will take you through my day. And so you guys can see how the foundation wears and everything like that. I will tell you now that I do like this foundation. So stay tuned for how it wears throughout the day and why I like it so much. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I finished the rest of my makeup. And then this is how the foundation looks. I think it looks super nice. It is matte, but I don't know with, I guess I have highlight on, so it doesn't look flat or anything, but I think it looks super nice. I really like it so far. I did realize that I forgot to put primer on with every single foundation review that I do. I forget to put primer on. I don't know what it is if I'm just so excited to like review the foundation or what, but I forgot to put primer on. So sorry about that. If you are wondering, cause I know I always get questions about my lip color in the comments so the lip color i have on is the milani amore matte lip cream in loved i live this color so so much it is currently 105 so that i got all my makeup done when we started it was around 12 or so that is it and i will see you guys in a couple of hours bye Hey guys, so it is probably like 5.30 right now, so I just wanted to do a little bit of a check-in. It's been four hours now since I've been wearing the foundation, and I personally think it looks awesome. It's not oily by any means right now, and like I said, I do have an oily like T-zone, like nose, forehead, and chin, and I think it still looks very flawless so that's why i love this foundation but i just wanted to do a little bit of a check-in i will check in probably around 10 9 or 10 p.m just so that you guys can see how it looks when it's been about nine hours so yeah that's all and i'll see you guys in a couple of hours hey guys so the foundation has lasted so so well it is 9 45 p.m right now and all i am is just a little bit shiny just around my T-zone maybe, but not bad at all. It hasn't broken up at all. My lipstick is obviously all off. My lash is coming off, all that stuff. But the foundation looks super, super good. So like I said, I love this, this foundation. It's only like $5.99 or something like that from Wet n Wild. So I would definitely pick it up. It is a great foundation and I'm definitely going to be using it all the time now. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys in a video very, very soon. Bye.